At ESMO 2020, we saw the results of two large global adjuvant studies in ER-positive HER2-negative breast cancer. First, Monarch E, which looked at the abemocyclib drug in combination with endocrine therapy versus endocrine therapy alone. And then the PALACE trial, which studied the role of palbocyclib with endocrine therapy compared to endocrine therapy alone. The Monarch E trial is a large global randomized trial in the adjuvant setting, treating patients with hormone positive HER2 negative breast cancer who are at high risk of recurrence. Trial recruited 5,637 patients from over 38 countries around the world who had node positive ER positive breast cancer with either four or more involved lymph nodes, or if one to three nodes, other risk factors such as a high tumor grade, large tumor size, or increased cell proliferation. Patients were randomized after completion of standard treatment to a bemocyclib, a CDK4-6 inhibitor, for two years plus endocrine therapy versus endocrine therapy alone. Now, the trial recruited over 43, 43% of patients who were premenopausal, and 60% of the patients had at least four involved lymph nodes. So it was a high-risk, younger age group population. At a pre-planned interim efficacy analysis, the two-year disease-free survival rate showed a significant reduction in the development of invasive disease, which was the primary endpoint. Hazard ratio was 0.747, which equates to a 25% reduction in invasive disease. The absolute difference was 3.5%, which meant at two years, 11.3% of patients on endocrine therapy alone had already relapsed with metastases often in bone and liver. But only 7.8% treated with abemocyclib developed recurrence. And this represented a very significant reduction in risk of early disease. There were no new safety signals. The drug is well tolerated, although diarrhea is the main side effect managed by dose reductions and loperamide. So this is a landmark study that's shown for the very first time that we can reduce risk in high risk patients with hormone positive early breast cancer. At ESMO 2020, we also saw the results of another large adjuvant study in ER-positive early breast cancer, the PALACE trial, which also looked at the addition of a CDK4-6 inhibitor to endocrine therapy, this time using palbocyclib. The trial likewise recruited 5,600 patients uh, in a global setting around the world. But there were some differences here. The study recruited stage 2 and stage 3 disease. So there were up to 1,000 patients who had no negative breast cancer. Around about 57% were deemed to have high-risk features based on four or more nodes, or if one to three, a high-grade three cancer. The study shows, at the, however, that there was no difference in invasive disease-free survival, which was the primary endpoint. The median follow-up was over 23 months, and we could see at three years the IFDS was 88% in both arms. The lines completely overlap. The hazard ratio was 0.93. So it's a little unclear why this trial was negative, but it was important to note that there was a high discontinuation rate. 43% of patients came off the palbocyclib primarily due to adverse events. Now, this was mainly neutropenia, and the protocol determined certain dose reductions and interruptions until recovery of neutropenia. So it's unclear to the community why one trial was negative and one trial was positive in a relatively similar setting. And it comes down to one of three things. Either the differences in study population, because Monarch E recruited very high risk patients only. Secondly, the ability to stay on drug because discontinuations were high in PALAS and therefore patients weren't able to take or benefit from the therapy. And thirdly, possibly differences between the drugs. Abemocyclib is continually dosed, whereas palbocyclib is intermittent dosing, and they have different spectrums of activity on CDK4 and 6. So these are important trials 
and we will have to do further follow-up of both of them to really understand more who the patients are who benefit most. Mm-hmm.